Hey, shalom, shalom. I want to start with Zulzba, give no praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Kodash. That belongs to the apostles of GMS and owners. T. Bob's doing the work in truth, one sincerity. Um, yeah, this one is, uh, uh, I remember the apostle spoke about this a couple of years back. Um, you know, it's just a little, you know, uh, uh, basically a Twitter story that I saw on the matter, right? And, um, you know, hey, <laughs> you thought this man ain't the devil? Right now, it, 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 it goes back to what, 1985. Right, so maybe Jake's forgotten this happened. Maybe Jake doesn't know this happened. Right, you know, you know, a number of Jakes may know about the bombing of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Right, but this is, uh, you know, this is just a, you know, another reminder. Right, that you and he so ain't friends, man. Right, there's been an enmity, you know, from the womb. Right, from, uh, 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 what do you call it? <laughs> from the foundation of the earth. That's, you know, that's how it was designed to be. Right, so um, I'll grab this. Well, I'll grab this. This is, uh, I'll just read into it. Right, this is on. On this date, May 13th, 85, Philly police, uh, Philadelphia police, right, dropped a bomb from a helicopter on a home owned by a radical black nationalist group, MOVE, M-O-V-E, right, says destroying the house, killing five adults and six children, right, hey, but this man loves the children, right, you know, look after the children, right, yeah, he's selling uh, bombs to Saudi Arabia, which, you know, he, <laughs> are illegal under his own laws, Right, that, are, that everyone knows being used to kill children, right? Right, says, uh, and causing a fire that burned down 61 uh, black middle class homes, right? It says, prior to the bomb, over 500 police officers fired more than 10,000 rounds into a house known to contain women and children, right? But once again, he's the champion of women, he's the champion of children, right? He says, finally, police commissioner, uh, in 10,000 rounds into into a house, right? And, hey, you know, I'm even thinking, I don't know how these houses were built, but, you know, hey, you know, from what I've seen, a lot of American houses, you know, they, they, they're built quite weak in comparison to English homes, where English homes, you've got a lot, you know, we use brick, right, when uh, when we build, right? So um, I don't know whether this was a brick build. If it's, if it's not one of them, <laughs> I'll just be honest, them crappy build, uh, uh, you know, wood crap, um, then 10,000 rounds into one of those, man, that's, that's crazy, man, right, it says, um, the ensuing fire burnt down a fairly well-off black neighborhood in West Philadelphia, leaving 250 people homeless, right, firefighters were standing by, but declined to put out the blaze until it had burned down a, a much of the neighborhood, right, they later claimed they had not been ordered to put it out, right, and it was basically, <laughs> so yeah, the firefighters there, right, and they was watching this neighborhood burn, right, and it didn't do shit, right, now imagine if that was, uh, 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 what's this place called, imagine this was, um, you know, Paradise, uh, California, <laughs> right, when that was burning, yo, you know people trying to stop them flames, right, but this is, this was a Jake neighborhood, and, and, and a middle class one at that. Right, so you already know they weren't down. They, they, they were happy to watch it burn, man, right? Once again, this is just remi a reminder of the hate that this man has for you, right? He need, need you reminded, right? Because ironically, it had been complaints from the African-American neighbors about the move house, that, about the move house that had prompted police action in the first place, which is what, what they say. Now, if this you know, is, is a true factor, right, then that's fucking hilarious. Right, because you Jakes, you trusted the devil, right? And you thought the devil, you know, you weren't, you, you were going to be safe from, you know, his devilish antics. And he reminds you, nah, nigga, I am the devil, right? It says, uh, because bombing a civilian home was clearly illegal, the bomb was euphemistically called an entry device in police record. However, an inquiry later... F oh, fuck off. Right, however, an inquiry... Uh, see, lost, lost my, my, my place now. Fucking Satan. Um, where was it? Yeah, okay, so because bombing a civilian home was clearly illegal, the bomb is euphemistically called an entry device in police records. However, an inquiry later found the bombing totally unjustified. Duh. Right, and uh, that's the thing with the devil. Uh, you have an inquiry about whether bombing, you know, a civilian home. <laughs> you know, on the shores of the United States of America was justified or not. 
you know, wasting public funds and whatever, what have you. Of course it ain't, right? But this is the devil we're dealing with, right? This is a, a federal judge ordered the city of Philly to pay one and a half million dollars to, uh, to the woman who was the sole survivor of the bombing, as well as two relatives of those killed, right? But the 61 black homeowners were not compensated for the loss of their bombed out homes, right? Hey, so they went, they went to the devil, you know, uh, 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 you know, seeking justice, right? And they're the ones who, who lost out, man, right? They're the ones who lost out. And it says, goes on to say, you know, they spent 20 years trying to get, um, you know, compensation or whatever, and they got 190 grand. But basically, the, the house that were rebuilt for them was shoddy, they were shit, right? So really, they fucked themselves up, man, right? You know, hey, so what is what is the case of, hey, that, you know, uh, uh, don't be going down to Esau for help, right? And also a case of never trust down the enemy, man, right? Well, hey, a lot of jake, that's what, they, that's what they get for not knowing who they are, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, well, but yeah, we grew up 90s, 70s, the truth has started coming out, right? So they didn't know, they didn't know. But I mean, now, of course, you know, this is... The internet age where everyone has the possibility, say everyone in their mama right, should know, right? Let me uh, get to the point now. This is Ezekiel 21 and 9. So the man prophesying said, Thus saith Yahweh, so a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished, right? So sharpened and furbished, what's that going into? That's going into, um, you know, the uh, 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 Esau's uh, weaponry, man, right? He and, and not, not just you know, the physical I mean, the bombs and lasers and the guns and whatnot what his bar weapons as well right you know because this man all of a sudden you know you've got all of these pathogens you know these these viruses that are out in the world that are trying you know that are affecting people you know but we all know that this man's a mad scientist you had the um you know the spanish flu which was dead and this man went and re and woke it up again right why because he's the devil and he's sharpening his sword Right, that word there, furbish, means to, uh, what would you call it, to to polish, right? And you know all this, when you, when you, when you watch them films, when the guy's polishing his sword, sharp, sh- polishing his sword, sharpening his sword, what's he doing? He's preparing for war, right? And hey, who the war uh, against, man? It's against you tribes, right? And that's, that's to come, right? But a lot of you are sleeping, and hey, a lot of you will be on the side of, of, of these devils, right? Because well, hey, ultimately... They go and try and come for us that way, and your Jake will be down with it. <laughs> but then, ironically, you are the ones that are going to get fucked up with it, right? He says, "Is it sharpened to make? It is sharpened to make a, a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter, right?" It says, um, "Should we then make mirth? Yes. Yeah, so should we? Should we be all you know laughing and lollygagging and happy and, and all of that? No, is the answer, right?" It goes on, um, should we then make mouth it contemned the blood of my son as every tree, right? It says, and he hath given it to, to be furbished that it may be handled. The sword is sharpened, right? Uh, 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 where am I? It says, the sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Right now, looking at this man's track record, I mean, who, who does that? Who does that, that match? That uh, match is this devil, man. Right, Revelation 6 and 4 is given unto him a great sword where they may take peace from the earth. Right, and the whole earth is, 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 is at unrest because of this man. Right? This is Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, so Esau knows that his time is short, right? You know, you, you've got Israelite camps popping up all over the world. Well, I recently found out about GMS Germany, man, right? And these things are beautiful to see, but for us, that is. For Esau, on the other hand, Esau's getting scared. Now, imagine imagine Esau did that, you know, to a handful of, 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 of niggas, right? Uh, you know, in that house, right? They call them radical black, and they were, they really weren't ultimately threatening Esau, right? But we actually are threatening Esau. Why? Because we ain't we ain't coming with carnality. We're coming with spirituality, right? We're doing something that he can't control, and he hates it, 
right? He, he, you know, he's a control freak, but he can't control this, right? Which is why he tries to pay off guys. But each time he tries to do something, guess what happens, <laughs> right? The truth gets a new outlet, right? The truth gets spread even more, right? Which is why, like I said, I'm getting these precepts in, in you know, in a, a connection with, you know, that story. And as I said, if they're doing it back then to what wasn't a threat, right? Imagine what they're going to be trying to do to, 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 to the Israelites, man. But we're going to have that protection right, from the Most High, right? It's Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it's polluted and shall destroy you even with its full destruction. Right now, you know, I'm bringing this one out more for them Jakes, man. <laughs> right, that rang up. Yo, man, yo, man, hey, 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 come help us, man. Right? <laughs> You know, and then guess what? They're the ones ultimately who, who, you know, who lost out, right? Them jigs that died, they went up to the heavenly father and they were like, oh shit, hey, hey, you know, hey that was Babylon the Great, right? They were in their right mind, right? Uh, 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 what would you call it? The, uh, you know, the woman that, uh, 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 who, who survived, I mean, yeah, one, one and a half million, but that's, you know, back then, I don't know how much that is uh, uh, translated forward, right? You know, she got some kind of financial, you know, substantial financial uh, uh, benefit uh, from the situation. But they, they, you know, they, they went from living good to living shit. But why, why is that? You know, it was a black middle class that, was, that got fucked up. Why is that? Because, <laughs> because this ain't our rest, man. Right? Now, scripture that was also coming to mind is, um... You know, First uh, Corinthians six, where it speaks about how um, uh, uh, you know, we 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 supposed to be judging issues amongst ourselves, man. We ain't supposed to be going to these devils to judge issues. But then again, the majority of our people, right, they ain't down with the cause, right? They're they're with uh, what do you call it? They're with um, the oppressor, <laughs> you know, to put it like that, right? They ain't they ain't uh, 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 they ain't Israelites. In fact, let me grab that. Uh, Romans six, Romans nine, six. That's Romans nine six. Not as though the word of the Most I have taken none effect, for they are not all Israel which are over Israel. Well, it's not everyone who calls you know it, you know you just have you as the apostles call it just Israelites, man. Right? You know you got a whole bunch of our people, majority of our people. They're just Israelites, nothing more. Right, and then the kingdom, that's when they're going to be in their right mind. But for the night time, they can't deal with it, man. Right, but, and the reason why I say that is they're going to do exactly the same thing to us. Right, they're going to rat us out right? as if we've done anything wrong. Right, but hey, they did it to the Lord. So they're going to do it to us, man. So, um, so yeah, hey, like I said, I just wanted to cover that real quick. As always, hopefully, that was edifying. Till the next time I say, Shalom.